Oh, so get this right. Today we are going deep on all the rumors flying around about I. I. Delis, alas. Oh yeah, no, I know. I. I. Delis, alas, like iconic, right? Oh, right. <laughs> Philippine entertainment. She's the comedic queen, but also can print the drama when she wants to. Been in the biz forever. Yeah, and like everybody loves her, but 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 T. There's all this stuff going around about her personal life. Yeah, like what's the real deal with her and Gerald Saban? They've been married what six years now? Six years, yeah, and they were together for like what was it four years before that? I think so. Yeah, so a whole decade. That's a long time. And people are saying they split up. Right, and it's like nobody knows for sure, you know. So that's why we're here. We've got insider scoops. We've got II's own words, and it's yep. all supposed to come out on her birthday, November 11th. November 11th. Yeah, during her interview on Fast Talk with Boyabunda. Big reveal. Big reveal. And we're going to try and piece it all together before then. Like, hmm. what are the STTS? Right, exactly. We're like rumor detectives yep. sorting through all the evidence. So where do we even start with this? Okay, so the thing is, I, I, I and Gerald, their whole relationship has been, what's the word, high profile, right? Wow. From the get-go. Yeah, like super public. And they've got that whole May-December thing going on, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the age gap, right. Which, honestly, I think makes it even more fascinating to people, you know? Like, are they going to make it? For sure. That's always the big question. And their wedding back in 2017 was, like, huge E. Fans went crazy. Media everywhere. Total media circus. But now you start to see these little hints, like cracks, in that picture-perfect image they've been projecting. Yeah, and I noticed it too, Gerald. Nowhere to be seen in that my mother, my story interview I, I did on October 27th. Red flag. Total red flag. Plus, the things she was saying in that interview, you can tell something's off. Cryptic, right? Very cryptic. And this is the tough part, right? You're a public figure, you've got an image to maintain, but then real life comes knocking. Yeah, it's like, how much do you share? When do you come clean about what's going on behind the scenes? It's a tightrope walk, honestly. Okay, real quick though, for our listeners who maybe aren't up on the lingo, May, December, What's that all about? Basically, it just means one partner is significantly older than the other. But the thing is, with relationships like that, there's always so much more scrutiny. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, way more judgment than with couples who are closer in age. Absolutely. And I think it goes back to our own biases, right? Society has all these ideas about how relationships should be. So when a couple breaks that mold, people start talking. It's like they can't help but make assumptions. Oh, it's just a fling or it's got to be about the money, that kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, all that speculation, it can't be easy on the couple, especially if they're already dealing with stuff behind closed doors. Totally. Okay, back to the My Mother, My Story interview, right? Yeah. There's this one part where Boy Abunda asks I, I, I about her biggest fear and her answer. Mm. It's almost like she's foreshadowing something. Let's just listen in for a sec. Yeah, let's hear it. Audio clip plays. I I's voice. Actually, the truth is being alone. But I think when that time comes, I'll be able to handle it. I think I can handle it. Okay, okay, rewind that for a second. Did you catch the way she hesitates before answering? It's subtle, but... Oh, yeah, it's definitely there, like a flicker of vulnerability, you know? And we all know I.I., she's usually so bubbly and confident. Exactly. So hearing that hesitation, knowing about all these separation rumors, it's hard not to read into it, you know? Totally. Like, is this a glimpse into what's been going on behind the scenes this whole time? Right, right. And then there's another clip, and this one just gets me every time. She basically gives this incredibly emotional apology to her younger self, Eileen. It's like she's acknowledging past pain, but also taking ownership of her worth. Let's listen. Okay, let's hear it. Audio clip plays. I D I's voice. Eileen, I'm sorry that you allowed yourself to be hurt by others, physically and emotionally. You didn't deserve that because you're a woman who loved truly with a pure heart without the intention of deceiving anyone. You simply wanted to be loved, but despite that, you were hurt both physically and emotionally. Mm -hmm. I'm deeply sorry that I let that happen. I won't let it happen again, and I'm very sorry. I mean, come on, how powerful is that? Oh, it's incredibly powerful, and it's so relatable, you know? That desire to protect ourselves, to learn from past hurts, and to ultimately choose self-love. Absolutely, and think about this. That interview was recorded weeks before any of these separation rumors started circulating. So she was saying all of this before the news broke. Exactly. Makes you wonder, was she hinting at trouble in paradise all along? Mm. Or are we just reading too much into things? Well, that's the big mystery, isn't it? But it does show you how hindsight works. You know, events can take on a whole new meaning when you have more information. Mm -hmm. Like, it's that missing puzzle piece, right? Suddenly everything clicks into place. 
So let's recap. We've got cryptic statements, Gerald MIA, and the upcoming interview on Fast Talk with Boyabunda on November 11th. Where the insiders say IAI is going to finally address all the separation rumors. The cabinet files confirmed it, right? The cabinet files confirmed it. So much to unpack here. But, you know, while we wait for that big reveal, it's important to remember that we're talking about real people here. Oh, absolutely. It's easy to get caught up in the drama, but we can't forget that these are human beings with real emotions. Right. It's about finding that balance, mm. you know between our curiosity and respecting their privacy. Exactly. And at the end of the day, we only see a tiny sliver of what's really going on in someone's life, especially when they're in the public eye. So true. So as we all wait with bated breath for II's official statement on November 11th, I want you to think about this. How much do our societal expectations, especially around age and relationships, influence how we see this whole situation? And are we playing a part in upholding those expectations or challenging them? It's a lot to think about, and I hope you'll keep those questions in mind as this story unfolds. Lots to consider for sure. Lots to consider.